I have a lot of inspirations and for a lot of different reasons, but I guess for maybe like singing and things like that, uh, I'd probably say Whitney Houston, Christina Aguilera, and more on the performing side, Bette Midler especially, because she was so sassy and bawdy and I love that. I love that, that she doesn't have to be too earnest all the time and be, oh, thank you so much for having me, God bless. You know, she just kind of comes straight out and is who she is. So as a performer, I really look up to her because of that. But as singers, I, I really love Whitney. Sorry to, you know, say that she's gone, but yeah, I, they, they were kind of my inspirations growing we up. travel to this city they call Melbourne. Prepare to entertain the folks unclad. Basically we did the, um, I was looking for a show to write for Josie because I'd done a lot of cabarets at Adelaide Cabaret Festival in the last few years. And I loved the idea of her energy being channeled through these Bette Midler shows, but I didn't want to do a tribute show because I'd done a lot of those. And I didn't feel there was any desire to recreate a 70s show. So the kind of jumping off point was, what would it be like to do one of those bathhouse shows now and talk about sex now and have a really hot rock band and kind of, and just see what your personality would be like if it had the same structure as a Bette mm. Midler show. And apparently it worked. <laughs> <laughs> My involvement is not in the performance, thank God, but we do have a towel boy who has a much better chest and don't <laughs> even. <laughs> um, and who's very charming and funny. And his name for this season is Rowan Brown. He's um, another performer I've worked with a lot at the MTC and the production company. So he comes along to provide, I guess, the beefcake to the yes. show. So we came together and Dean really put that discipline in me and you know, help me form these stories to really have, you know, punchlines and mm. be funny. And to choose the songs we wanted to sing but have them sort of matter in, yeah. like, create an order that was... Context. Give context Absolutely. to that music. Absolutely. Context is everything. Mm. <laughs> That's it, it's such a cool vibe, you know. Yeah. It's you walk past, everyone's like, What's going on in this tent? Isn't it mm. camp? Oh. But um, no, it's it's just performing here. There's been so many amazing acts here. I remember one of the I saw the clique here when they were here last oh, three or four years ago, probably. Yeah. But just everything that they do here is so prestigious mm. and and amazing and yeah, it's and such varied. a badge of honor to have a show here, so that's Exciting, and the venue, pride. yeah. <laughs> and then the venue itself is so cool for intimate performance because everyone's only like really four meters away at any point from the performer. Mm. And that's important for this show, I yeah. think. Yeah. We're gonna sing about the trashy ladies. We're gonna talk about the brassy bronze. Yeah, well, they can expect to really have a great night and. You know, we don't want people to come in here and think, I'm going to take this really seriously. This is a homage to Bette Midler, la la No, this is just a fun night out. And, you know, fun night for the gays, yeah. fun night for anyone else. You know, you don't have to be gay, but... No, uh, our audience is mostly not gay in Adelaide, no, actually. No, in Adelaide they were. were so tailored to homosexuals, <laughs> and then all these 50-year-old couples turned up. And, you know, we want them to come too, so... We do. They yeah. love a grinder joke as good as anyone else. But I guess, don't expect that you won't be shocked. <laughs> That was difficult grammar. Was it? Don't expect that you won't be shocked. So expect to be shocked. Ex okay, expect, that's why he's the writer <laughs> and I'm the Josie. <laughs> <laughs>